So why isn't this mainstream news? Obama has been asked to return his peace prize. Now they're not claiming it back legally, they're asking him nicely. And Thorburn Jagland, I think that's how you pronounce it, chairman of the Nobel Peace Prize Committee said that Obama really ought to consider returning his Nobel Peace Prize medal immediately, including the really nice case that it came in. <laughs> now, Jagland said that they'd never before asked for the return of a Peace Prize, even from a damnable war criminal like Kissinger. Sorry about that, I had to pause. <laughs> Uncontrollable laughter. Um, Okay, even they are saying that Kissinger is a war criminal, um, okay, but that the 10% drawdown in US troops in Afghanistan capped a period of non-peace prize winner behaviour. Guantanamo is still open, there's bombing Libya, there's blowing Bin Laden away rather than putting him on trial. Now a few US troops go home but the US will be still occupying Afghanistan until 2014 and beyond, and don't even get me started on the Yemen. And this is the head of the Peace Prize Committee. And up comes a bit of a admission. Shagland revealed that the committee members were all legless drunk on the day that they voted as it was the start of Norway's annual Aquavit tasting festival. The totally toasted members listened over and over to replays of Obama's Cairo speech, tearing up and drinking shots to the glorious future, a black man leading America and the world into a new era of peace, hope and goodwill. Well, we all know that that did not happen. But seriously, after this, the White House had, surprise, surprise, no comment. It later announced an aggressive new covert CIA initiative to identify and apprehend Al-Qaeda operatives in Scandinavia, where the, pre where the uh, Peace Prize is awarded. So I wonder if any of these Peace Prize committee members are going to disappear. And this is why, on a more serious note, this story has not appeared in the mainstream media. It actually made an appearance on RT, um, but from a different perspective. Um, an official letter from a lawmaker said that they ought to withdraw the prize. Now I've got a funny feeling they actually acted on this letter. Um, Okay, this is Russian propaganda from RT, but they're claiming that it's suggested to pass the peace prize to Vladimir Putin because he stopped the war in Syria, he's still saving a lot of people from major bloodshed, blah, 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 blah. Um, okay, well, that didn't appear in our mainstream media, but there is no real excuse For this not appearing because the White House were contacted, it should have formed part of a press release, um, the media should have picked up on it, everyone should know that Obama, Peace Prize, he's going to be stripped of it if he doesn't return it I'm sure. But the reason it didn't make the mainstream media is because they're all scared, they're running scared of King Obama. and. Um, they know that he can have them picked up in the middle of the night for no reason other than the fact he didn't like what they've written and they will just simply disappear never to be heard of again no trial he's allowed to kill them if he wishes under his own executive actions this really is like 1950s Russia anyway I hope you've uh, found this useful please like subscribe and share we need to get this story about Obama being asked to return the Peace Prize out there because nobody seems to know about it. 
nobody seems to want to run it. Thank you very much. Bye.